right now I'm going into the RV. Uh, I'm going to turn on some air. It's pretty nice out here now. It's been raining all day long. And I mean, just pouring down rain. See if I can get some lights on the subject here. Maybe I can. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been something else today. I had some guys come out and pick up uh, my gun safe that I had uh, for sale. And um, and they, they drove from Missouri. They drove about one hour and a half, two hours uh, to pick this thing up. And uh, it, um, the thing weighed 700 pounds. And I told them, I said, it's going to be raining, guys. You can't be hauling this safe in the rain. They go, well, we're sending a box truck. And a couple of uh, the gentleman buying it, he was sending two of his employees uh, to pick it up. Then they, they let their lift down. They had a lift gate on this thing. They let it down, and everything was fine. And we got the safe out of the house, which took me and Jerry almost an hour and a half just to move from the den to the front door. And uh, went to pick it up, and it like to fell off the lift. And I'm like, something's wrong with your lift. And he goes, I don't understand what it is. He said, this thing has been broke, and, and they fixed it. So I said, let's take the safe back off the lift, and let's lift the lift by itself. And, and when we did, the, you know, the lift's supposed to be on the ground, and it's supposed to, you know, lift up and get up level with the truck. Well, when he lifted it up, he started doing this, and, and when he got up where it was level with the truck, it was hanging straight down. So whoever fixed it didn't know what they were doing, and the guys didn't check it out before they drove up here. So, And we're talking about a truck that was so tall that it was dock size, you know, like it was tall. And uh, it just so happened they brought the ramp, but the ramp was like, you know, this. And uh, so we laid the safe down on the dolly on the ramp and I told him I said guys instead of anybody getting at the bottom let's try and push this thing up with the dangers of that and us getting out of the way and been on that narrow ramp we just hooked a big toe strap to the dolly and all four of us got up in the truck and it was like a tug of war and we pulled it right up in there but if you guys are new to my channel on the RV Park Smart uh, go over and check out Arkansas Prepper channel I'm in a transition see I'm in, I'm in between you know, living in the sticks and bricks and trying to get to where we can get out and get the house sold. And that's all we're doing, guys, is just working on the house. I mean, painting and, I mean, we were probably making it look better. And I, I, I swear it looked like we just tore it all to pieces. But anyway, uh, we're hoping that we're going to get this going. Uh, I've ordered a bunch of uh, storage baskets uh, that fit just perfectly. Of course, it took a while, but uh, these are some that we already had. But I, I just knew we were losing uh, utilized good space. So... I found some, I measured it, and I'm going to have six that comes in. It's going to go all the way across here. They're going to be, I think, maybe, you know, yay far from the from the roof. Uh, I'll figure out some way to strap them in so that way we can store stuff like, uh, I'll probably won't put any canned goods up there, but stuff that, you know, like rice and ba bag stuff, stuff like that, beans and things like that. They'll be out of the way. Um, we got this sofa, hide a bed, that I'm going to go ahead and run on Craigslist. The sofa's pretty neat. If someone needed just a sofa for their home, uh, it's it's pretty nice. Uh, and like I say, it's it's a hide -a bed but what's unique about this is when it folds all out, that's uh, full size, and that's a blow-up mattress with a cover over it. And it uh, has, uh, you just plug it in the wall, and the thing will just air up. You see that? That is a leak. And I know that's something that's going to happen. I know that it is, but you'd think that, you know, I'd be able to feel the wall and, and feel the water or see something, a watermark or something happening here of course it could be running down inside the wall but even at that if it is running down inside the wall it's still going to be coming from somewhere if you're interested and uh, you'd like to go to arkansas prepper and uh look it up you'll see my latest videos are mostly about remodeling the house what we've been doing and it's going to give you that transition that once we hit the road and we're in this one then we'll probably be doing a lot more videos for rv park smart and we still will be doing videos that have to do with, uh, you know, saving money, trying to live in a small space, uh, things like that, that uh, a lot of the uh, preppers in the prepping community uh, like to see. So thank you for watching again, and I will talk to you soon.